your mountain around us. And it's my pleasure to welcome everyone to uh, our get together today. I'm not going to call it an assembly, it's a special occasion. A very special welcome to our invited guests here. Uh, who can tell me who they are? Sophie Pascoe, who else? Yes? The Westpac helicopter crew, and there's somebody else up here that arranged it all for us too. Think about the helicopter and what it's called. Yep. I'm not sure, but we will introduce our guest here is from Westpac, the bank. It's the bank our school actually banks with, and they've helped arrange this special visit today. And look, we are really looking forward to uh, hearing what they have to say. How many people have seen a helicopter land in Cotswold School Grounds before? <laughs> well, that's interesting. <laughs> I've been here a wee while, probably longer than most of you, and I haven't seen that, but that's interesting. Great to see there, and I saw a big smile on um, our caretaker's face, because he saw all the leaves he was going to have to collect up quickly disappearing over to the neighbours on the south boundary. So that's fantastic. <laughs> At this stage, I'd like to hand over to Sophie, who's going to uh, tell us a little bit about the work of uh, Westpac Rescue Helicopter. Uh, we'll get a chance uh, towards the end to ask some questions. And we'll also get a chance to just file past that helicopter. But our timing is reasonably tight. The helicopter has to be back in the air at 11 o'clock. Hi, everyone. So I'm Sophie Pascoe, and I'm a paralympic athlete and heading towards London this year. Um, I'm not here as a swimmer, though. I'm here as an ambassador for the 2012 Westpac um, Helicopter Rescue Crew um, for the Chopper Appeal. Um, so these guys here, that you can see the big red helicopter outside, that flies around and saves five, you know, that saved 5,000 people's lives over the past every year. These guys, um, you know, have everything in the helicopter from an incubator, uh, which we can actually tell you, tell you about that a little bit more than me. Um, these guys um, are 24/7 uh, service, so they're they're on call all day every day. And uh, from my experience, um, you know, I, I live out in the country and these guys here can fly out to the country and bring someone back into the public hospital um, as soon as possible, you know, it's a lot quicker than obviously an ambulance or, um, driving out there. And so I'm just going to pass over to Brent and he's going to tell you a bit about what the helicopter and what the crew does to save people's lives. Good morning. How are you all this morning? Pretty cold this morning, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah, cold. Um, as you know, my name's Brent. I'm one of the medics, paramedics on the helicopter. So when we get a job, I'll jump in there with another guy, who's another paramedic as well, and the driver, who's commonly known as a pilot. And we'll get get a, a job where we have to go. We'll fly over there. We'll land, and we'll help whoever we're, we've been um, called out to help and we might give them some medicine to make them comfortable and we might help them with their injuries or uh, illnesses and then we'll load them into the helicopter and we'll fly back to hospital. Has anyone been picked up by us before? Yeah, a few? Okay, so if you've been for a ride in a helicopter before, it's just pretty noisy. Um, moves around a wee bit. But if you, as you also know, that Helicopters can land in places that aeroplanes and ambulances can't go. So that's what makes our job a little bit a little bit different, a little bit more important in some cases. If you get sick and you're in the hills, the mountains, or you're out somewhere where there's no roads, then we can get to you in most cases. And as Sophie said, we, we fly 24-7. Um, Does anyone know what 24-7 means? Yeah, you? Sorry, I've got, I've got very good hearing. Can you shout it out to me? Twenty-four hours a day. So that's day and night. So while you guys should be sleeping, sometimes we get called out and, at night, and we can fly at night because we've got special goggles that help us see, and we can do winching. Do you know what winching is? That's where we've got that big thing sticking out the right-hand side of the helicopter and. 
they tie me to that, and the other guy, he winches me down to the ground. Sometimes we can't land, so we win I get winched down, and I'll um, help the person on the ground, make them better, and then we winch both of us back up into the helicopter and fly away. Um, mostly, we um, fly in the Christchurch Canterbury area, okay, so we can fly for about an hour anyway, any, in any direction. So that's to the mountains, down as far as just past Timaru, and up sort of quite far away. Um, soon, Mr. Harrison is going to get you guys and we'll get you to quickly file around outside and you can have a quick look in. Um, and you can see how small it is and how much room we've got to actually work. I'm pretty much done. It's nice meeting you guys this morning. Uh, I hope you uh, You might think you've been uh, just about done, but we've got a whole list of questions here that have been collected from um, all rooms in our school. And we'll just uh, perhaps jump through a few. I know time is limited, so we won't get through them all. I'd just like to introduce Harry and Hannah, a head boy and head girl. And they're going to ask these questions this morning. I don't know who they're directed to, whether it's to Sophie or to Brent or Miss Pat. Let's go and see what they say. Questions. Um, from room one, or Brent, um, how do you fly the helicopter? I don't actually fly it, but I sometimes help the pilot fly it. We have, um, we just generally keep our hands off all the buttons and the steering wheel thing. Um, but we help in a way by loading the patients in, keeping other people away from the, the moving bits that could injure you, and making sure no one um, gets in trouble. This one's from Room 11 for Sophie. What got you interested in swimming? Um, actually, being my best friend at primary school. <laughs> so um, that's what got me really interested in swimming. That, um, I, I just kind of had a talent and uh, put to use and just love the feeling of the water. Yeah. From Room 2, is it hard to train for a leg position? Not really, I've grown up uh, having one leg since I was two, uh, so it's, it's just kind of been a normal feel for me and uh, yeah, it's kind of like me uh, being young around you guys, I was always treated the same in my class, so uh, it's just natural for me. Yeah. This one's from room 12, it's for Brent. What is the best thing about your job as a helicopter rescue pilot? Or paramedic? Um, there's lots of best things about it, but the best thing is getting out to people that would find it, would find it normally difficult to get out to and treat, and be able to make a bit of a difference and relieve suffering, saving lives. Um, for room three, for Sophie, is it hard to train for a leg position? What is the best thing about swimming? Um, I have to say, uh, just Obviously, it's a challenge for me, so I love a good challenge and um, trying to um, PB all the time, so personal best and swimming, race harder and faster the next time I get in the pool. So, yeah, winning's a, a really nice feeling. And we've got two questions from room 16, both for Sophie. What is your favourite stroke? Uh, favourite stroke is butterfly. And where have you liked swimming the most? Uh, I have to say Christchurch, everyone's very supportive here. Um, so we've had a great pool and a good, good time at Kiwi 2, which we obviously don't have. But probably the best place overseas for me would be um, Idaho, uh, definitely very nice pools. Yeah. Um, and from room 4, the Sophie, where do you do your swimming training? I'm currently swimming at Jelly Park, uh, which is just down the road from you guys. So, yeah, it, it doesn't have the 50 metre pool that we need, but it's got a 25 and it's got a hole in the walk on the ground with some water. So it keeps the job done. <laughs> and I've got two questions from very soon to go for Brent. Which areas do you fly to rescue people? Is it only the Canterbury area or the whole of the South Island? Um, we fly as far as um, Kaikoura, 
or just north of Kaikoura, down as far as Timaru, sometimes a bit further. Um, we went to Lake Tekapo, which is quite a way away, and we'll fly to Arthur's Pass. So that's the area that we go to. Those are the areas we go to. And how many rescues have you attended so far this year? With, we go to almost two a day, uh, sorry, two, yeah, two, a day. two a day on average. So, how many days in the year so far? Times that by two. <laughs> and um, for the rest of the five, this is something. When did you first decide that you wanted to represent New Zealand at swimming and did you give up a lot of other activities to do that? <laughs> I first started swimming internationally at the age of 11 and I guess you could say I gave up school a little bit but don't take my advice on that. Um, yeah, so uh, it was very hard to balance the both but uh, swimming only comes around once so I chose that path for myself. And this is from Women for for Sophie. What other sports are you interested in and why? Um, I love any kind of sport that doesn't involve swimming. It's, when, it, when I have time off swimming, it is so good to go out and watch different sports and watch also team sports because we don't get uh, the team involvement in an individual sport like I do. It's, uh, it's really great to have that team involvement and uh, going out and being a part and being a supporter of that. So I love going and watching the rugby and the weekend or anything like that. So yeah. And um, this is for Sophie, who is sick. How much training do you do? Um, at this stage, I'm training 10 times a week in the pool and three gym sessions. So all of it's 26 hours a week. This question is from room 24 for Sophie. What events are you competing in, in the Paralympics? Have you got a good chance of winning more medals? <laughs> <laughs> Stop things one question earlier, but we do look forward to seeing you uh, compete. Um, we've got a, lo a number of very high achieving people here in the sports area, but some heading off today to cross country. Uh, no pressure there, Harry, but we're looking for a good win there. Um, at this stage, we're just going to uh, allow our classes perhaps to go outside and have a look around that helicopter because I understand you have to be back on board and in the air by 11 o'clock. Thank you very much uh, to both. Uh, both of you for coming today because we really appreciate uh, seeing the Westpac helicopter land on our grounds, finding a little bit about it and Sophie, hearing a little bit about your journey as well. Um, I'm sure some of our children out here are aspiring to be really amazing swimmers. In fact, I know one lady here who's one young lady who's in, in full training for that. So um, thank you very much. Um, at this stage, teachers, uh, perhaps if we could just start with the classes on this side of the hall first. What we're going to ask you to do is file out just around the helicopter, you're not allowed to go in.